Hey y'all, Nico here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm Nico. In today's video, I just wanted to show you a few of the things that are on my altar and give you a couple tips about how to create your own altar. So an altar can have a specific purpose that's important to you. So it can be a place of meditation. It could be a spiritual place for you. It could be a sacred space for you. It could be a place where you want to honor the people who came before you. So it's really up to you what you want the intention and purpose of your altar to be. My altar just kind of came into existence without me even knowing. Like I would see a lot of people talking about an altar and what they will put on their altar. And then I was like, you know what, I should build my own. And I realized that the stuff that I have compiled together on my coffee table is my altar. I'm in here a lot next to it. I do yoga in this same room. There are many times that I meditate in this same room. There are many times I may be speaking affirmations in this room and my altar is just here with me and it's been here with me the whole time. So just, you know, decide what you want your altar to be for. A great way to get it started is to compile little things that are special to you or things that people may have gifted to you. I love to put things that people have gifted to me on my altar because I feel like it's kind of gifted to me out of appreciation and love. So it also already has a good and a positive energy attached to it. Another tip is to just put it in a space where you will be near often or where you will go to often. So whether you want to put it in your room, whether you want to have one in your living room like me, just put it in a space that is easily accessible for you. And if you live amongst others in a space where it is quiet and where you can be unbothered. So I'm going to show you a few of the things that are on my altar. I know um, this is always behind me. Most of the time this is behind me when I'm doing my yoga video. So this will be a nice little um, introduction into the things that are on my altar and things that are important to me that I've put together and put in this lovely little space. So one of the things I have is a lot of crystals, um, like just various crystals I've bought from places. I got a few of these from a crystal convention and other ones were like gifted to me or given, given to me from other people. I can't remember the name of all of them, but I have a lot of crystals here. And these right here are actually rocks that a friend of mine gave to me a while ago from like her property or whatever. And they have, uh, they're like kind of sparkly, and nice, so she gets with these to me, so I put it right over here with this stuff. This one too, she gave me. This little statue was gifted to me. This um, little glass cube from Barbados was a gift. These two light up candles were a gift, which I really like because, you know, these are nice. I can turn them on at night. They change colors and stuff, they're so cute. And then this abundance and money candle was also gifted to me by a friend, um, which I feel like when people like gift you stuff like this, I feel like there's a, a more intense power in it. Like they will work better. Like this is a money candle and this is an abundance candle. And like I said, I feel like they just have a positive energy attached to them already. So they're going to serve their purpose even more. I have a block of Himalayan pink salt here that I bought. You know, another way to just absorb whatever negative energies may be surrounding my altar. I have this little ashtray here. It's a DNA ashtray. This is actually a brand from my hometown, St. Louis, that a friend of mine owns. Um, it's a cool like clothing store and stuff, but I'm really big about like stuff at home, about 
St. Louis based stuff. Um, so I thought this was really cool, you know, just whenever I need an ashtray or whenever, um, you know, I'm burning something. Like sometimes you have those little circle inset cone things, like those can go in there. Or I have this little piece of wood. I can't remember what this wood is called. It's that good smelling wood. And my friend Josh gave it to me. So if there's like ash that comes off the wood, I'll just ash it in my ashtray or whatever. And then I have a picture of my mom. This is actually her baby picture in its original frame. So, you know, this is a way to honor her. This is very special to me. Another little gift given to me. And I have some candles here. I think having candles on your altar is very important. Number one, because candles smell good. And number two, because there's an energy in fire. There's an energy in lighting a candle. So this candle is just from Ikea. I think it's an apricot candle or something. But uh, the candles from Ikea are really affordable and they're really nice. And these candles were actually, by created, actually created by my friend Zeus. Zeus is an artist. And so he made this art and then put it on the candle. So I have a black one and a white one. And candles are also a good way to do um, a meditation. There's a meditation called Trataka meditation where you just focus on a candle flame. So that's a really awesome meditation to be in front of your altar with your candle flame, kind of focusing on the candle flame, but then you have all these wonderful things with these good energies attached to them still in your view, but kind of out of focus. So I just think that that makes that kind of meditation very intentional and very powerful. And uh, aside from the things that are on my little altar space here, there's a lot of like books on my coffee table. And there are a few of them that are really meaningful to me and they're in close proximity to this space. So that just kind of works out for me as well. Like my friend Adrian is a photographer and he had a project called We Matter. Look Adrian up if you haven't. Um, dear friend to me, so this is really cool to me to have these things near each other. I remember having a conversation with my friend Dez about like dealing with anger and she bought me this little book. I read this cute little book, you know, it's just about um, being angry about the right things. And um, I also have things I was gifted from my sister. I believe that these things are from Senegal. This is woven basket. I have some stuff in here, but this is woven basket in this really nice detailed painted plate. And then I also have a couple art books here. Like I have this Kahinde Wiley book. If you don't know who Kahinde Wiley is, he's a very well-known black artist, portrait artist. Please look him up. And also various art books from museums around here and, and books that I've read. I have a Toni Morrison book over here. I have a book on chakras over here. So this whole table is just really full of good energies. And I think that's why I like, I like it so much because there's so many things on it that are artistic and beautiful and things that I can look at, things that I can pick up and read. And it just attracts good energy into the space. So hopefully this video was able to help you get an idea of what you may want to do for your altar or how you may want to have a sacred space within your home. If you do have an altar at home, I would love to hear what you have on your altar or how you utilize your altar or if you have any suggestions or tips on what to put near or on your altar. So leave that in a comment down below if you have any suggestions. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Peace and love.